I'll take it. We'll be eating soon. Okay. okay. Ming Yi! Li Lan, you're here. You're back? Yeah. Li Lan and Mom came to help with the rice this morning. Mom's here too? Yeah. Ah. Are you tired? No, I'm fine. Here, let me. Dad! Hey! You're home! Xin Yue! In just two years, you've gotten so tall. Of course I have. <laughs> Ming Yi. Mom. Still healthy? Very. I heard many believers were arrested in Jiangsu. I was worried about you. Mom, I'm fine. <laughs> Good. Then let's clean up and eat. Okay. Okay. Ming Yi, help me with this? Ming Yi. Yes? I heard that you'll be doing church work with Brother Song. Yeah. What duty do you have now? Me? Yeah. I'm the watering deacon. <laughs> That's great. You used to have an arrogant disposition. Have you managed to change a little? Of course. Uh, <laughs> Everyone can change. You're right. <laughs> Your sister really has changed these past two years. Ming Yi. Yes? You must have learned a lot from the last two years. Yeah. In doing church work, I felt I lacked a lot in using truth to solve problems. I couldn't see things clearly, and I couldn't fellowship well. I finally saw that I don't have realities. I see. I spoke empty words of doctrine before. Mm-hmm. I've realized that we can't accomplish anything without the truth. Right. Hey, so how is everyone doing? Are they making progress? Currently, the brothers and sisters are anxious. They see they don't have realities, and they worry they'll be punished in the disaster. Hmm. Do you have a path for guiding them into the realities of truth? We can only carefully read God's words with them, and focus on practicing the truth. This is the most direct path. Well said. We must start by practicing the truth to experience. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I need to tell you something about Li Lan. Oh? As a deacon, she has some problems. Sister Li, I have another question. How did you experience God's judgment? Tell us about your experience. Yeah. 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 Tell us. Tell us. You've believed over months. So learn to know yourself through God's words. Then practice truth and forsake the flesh. You'll have experience then. If you don't practice the truth, others' experiences are useless to you. From the moment I started believing, any problem I had, I figured out by myself. I never relied on others. Have you paid that price? Hearing experiences won't help you gain the truth unless you pursue it. All right, we'll stop here today. Sister Lee. Yes? I'd like to give you some advice. Uh, go ahead. Your fellowship with Sister Fong was impractical. You didn't point out a path of practice and you scolded her. Sister Fong is a newcomer. Speaking this way could make her feel very constrained. Didn't I tell her to seek the truth according to God's words? That's not a path? She doesn't put effort into God's words and doesn't accept its judgment. So listening to others is useless. Besides, everything I said is true. How is that scolding? My tone was a little harsh but for her own good. Can her problems be solved if I'm not blunt? 
scolding people doesn't solve problems. You should be watering newcomers lovingly to help them. If you talk like this, the others will feel repressed, and at gatherings they won't feel repressed? That proves they don't accept the truth. Would they feel that way if they did? I'll be on my way, if that's all. At gatherings, Lilan often scolds people, abusing her position. She boasts and she belittles others. Several of us have fellowshiped with her many times. But she doesn't accept it. She is prejudiced against us. She is your sister, so maybe you could fellowship with her. Huh, okay. It's so late. Lilan isn't back? Well, she's so busy she loses track of time. Oh, put it there. Okay. Mom, I'm home. Mingyi, you're, you're back. back. Mm. You're home so late. The newcomers I watered were eager. Oh. And they had many questions, so I had to fellowship longer. Have some water. Okay. You've been a watering deacon for six months, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. Have you made progress? How are your results? I've had good results. Oh. Sometimes I can be outspoken. I want to point out problems I see. So my tone is a little impatient. I'm working on changing it. Hmm. Pursuing change is good. Believers in God should pursue change. Yeah. Um, Lilan? Yeah? Someone reported to me that you speak of doctrine, don't resolve problems, scold people, and that some feel repressed by you. Is this true? Who reported that? That's an exaggeration. Mingyi, you know me, right? You can't just listen to one side. When brothers and sisters report problems, it's to help. Why do you think they told me? Don't you think it was so I could help you? Please take this the right way. Why can't you just accept this? You say you pursue change, but if others report problems and you can't hear it, then how can you change? You have the wrong attitude. First tell me if you have any of these problems. I admit that I have these problems. But things aren't as bad as you say. I admit I'm a little arrogant, but I don't do bad things. Mingyi, as watering deacon, I work every single day, fellowshipping, resolving problems. Sometimes I agree, my tone can be a little harsh. But I do it to get the job done. For those who muddle through, what else but to scold them? The leaders never see my value and always point out my flaws. They just don't like me. Lilan, you tend to defend yourself. Why can't you seek the truth when you are dealt with? The leaders are just pointing out your problems to help you, not to be hard on you. We have to receive from God. If you love the truth, then even if people are correct to some degree, you should reflect on it. This is helpful. Why can't you see it's a good thing? You speak of doctrine and scold others. Isn't this arrogance? How can you be watering well this way? We must seek the truth to fix our corrupt dispositions. That's the only way to progress in life, right? You're right. I have to receive from God and reflect on myself. Dinner's hall, eat up. Attention, attention. Villagers take note. The country is cracking down on religious belief. If you 
Hi. Hi. Who's that? I've never seen him. Mr. Huh. Yes? Your tofu is great. I want to order some more. All right, let's talk inside. Fine tofu. Sister Fong. Yes? We heard about what happened at the last gathering. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, how have you been since then? When Sister Lee pointed out my problem, at first, I was a little uncomfortable. Oh. But then I reflected and felt I was lacking. I do appear busy with my duty, but my disposition hasn't changed. And I don't pursue the truth. It was right for Sister Lee to deal with me. I don't feel down. Thank, Thank God. God. Right now, I don't have a clear understanding of how to change my disposition. Uh -huh. Hey, Brother Song, Brother Lee, could you fellowship with us about this? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is a good question, and it's worth discussing. <laughs> <laughs> if we want to change our disposition, the key is to accept being judged and dealt with by God, mm -hmm. and to reflect on and know ourselves to see our own corruption clearly. Only then can we have real repentance and change. Yes. Let's read two passages of God's Word. Okay. okay. Page 933. Before man was redeemed, many of Satan's poisons had already been planted within him, and after thousands of years of Satan's corruption, he has a nature that resists God. Therefore, when man has been redeemed, it is nothing more than a case of redemption, in which man is bought at a high price, but the poisonous nature within him has not been eliminated. Man that is so defiled must undergo a change before becoming worthy to serve God. By means of this work of judgment and chastisement, man will fully come to know the filthy and corrupt essence within his own self, and he will be able to change completely and become clean. Only in this way can man become worthy to return before the throne of God. All the work done this day is so that man can be made clean and be changed. Through the judgment of the word and refinement, man can cast off his corruption and be made pure. Amen. 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 Here's the next passage. I'll read it. Great. Page 1332, the last passage. Okay. You start bragging as soon as you show loyalty and demanding rewards for small contributions. You disdain others once you show obedience and disregard God after doing some minor task. For receiving God, you ask for money, gifts, and compliments. It makes you heart sore to give a coin or two. When you give ten, you wish for blessings and to be treated with distinction. A humanity such as yours is positively offensive to speak or hear of. Is there anything praiseworthy in your words and actions? Those who do their duty and those who do not, those leaders and followers, those who receive God and those who do not, those who donate and those who do not, those preachers and those receivers, and so on, all such men are bragging. Don't you think it's laughable? Knowing well you believe in God, you cannot be compatible with Him. Knowing full well that you are utterly without merit, you persist in boasting all the same. Don't you feel your sense has fallen to the point that you lack self-control? With sense like this, how are you fit to associate with God? Are you not afraid for yourselves at this juncture? Your disposition has deteriorated to the point where you're incompatible with God. This being so, is your faith not laughable? Is your faith not preposterous? How are you going to approach your future? How are you going to choose which path to take? Amen. 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 During my years of believing, I've learned it's easy to suffer a little, pay a small price, and do some good deeds. Yes. But our dispositions are very stubborn. Right. 
Arrogance is not an easy thing to change. I'm a very arrogant person. I could forsake, expend, and work. I felt superior to others. I always made others listen to me, and rarely took others' suggestions. This made my brothers and sisters feel constrained, but I did not see. <sighs> After some setbacks, failures, and judgment, only then could I see my shortcomings. I acted without principle, which hindered the work of the church. I saw that I was lacking in many ways. I needed to work with my brothers and sisters and learn from them. Yeah. This is when I learned to be low-key. I was able to focus on seeking the principles of the truth, and I could let go of my ego, listen to others, and be cooperative. Thank God. I was much more effective in my duty, and I lived with a little human likeness. Thank God. Thank, Thank God. God. From experience, I now understand how precious the judgment of God's word is. Thanks be to God. Without being judged, dealt with, and experiencing failures, it is absolutely impossible to change. Yeah. Yeah. We cannot truly know ourselves without God's judgment. Yes. 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 God does the work of judgment. He reveals the truth of man's corruption. If we reflect on ourselves within God's word, we can recognize the truth and essence of our corruption, and then we can genuinely repent. Right. Mm, right. Although we are not completely free from sin, after we experience judgment, trials, and refinement, ultimately, we will be cleansed completely. Yes. Experiencing God's work, we can't skip any step. And being pruned and dealt with is particularly beneficial. Uh, yeah. yeah. If we want to be favored by God, we will have to go through trials and refinements. The suffering will be great through that time. When we are judged, chastised, and dealt with, is this not God's love? Yes, it, it is. is. This is His love and salvation. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Your fellowship helps me see that I have to accept God's judgment to genuinely change. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank God. Judgment and chastisement. We need to accept really judgment and chastisement. Good, you're all here. Oh, hi, Sister Lee. These are the new hymn books I brought for everyone. Oh, Great. that's wonderful. I've been waiting for this. Take a look. Here, Sister Fong. Thank God. Here, Brother Chen. It's easy to learn to here. sing. Mm -hmm. It sure will. Yeah. I finally got the book. Sister Lu, here. Try off. Thanks. This is great. Lovely printing. Yeah, it really is nice. There are a lot of hymns for us to learn. Yeah. It's almost time to start. Why isn't Sister Ye here? She didn't come last time. Maybe something happened at home? Oh. She's group leader, but she can't even show up for gatherings. Does church life matter to her? Yeah. A group leader has to act the part. Maybe something happened. She usually arrives on time. Yeah. Right. Nothing is more important than gatherings. Is not gathering when there's some little issue forsaking everything? She doesn't take this seriously. She's so irresponsible. It's limiting if we read God's word on our own at gatherings. We need someone to fellowship. We're lucky Sister Lee is here today. Sorry I'm late. Sister Ye is here. Uh-huh. What time is it now? You didn't show up last time, and this time you're late. Does this demonstrate the behavior of a good group leader? Something happened at home and... Who doesn't have problems at home? If we were all like you, how would church work get done? Who would take care of it? You're being irresponsible and careless. As a group leader, 
Your brothers and sisters are your responsibility. How can you just delay our gatherings? You don't practice the truth, and you try to find fault with others. You are no longer suitable to be group leader. Sister Lu will now be group leader. Sister Ye is very responsible. Yeah. Something at home delayed her. It wasn't on purpose. She doesn't need to be dismissed for that, right? Yeah. yeah. Sister Lee, dismissing a group leader needs to be discussed with leaders, right? Yeah. yeah. Direct dismissal is against principles. Yeah. You should discuss this with the leaders and deacons and then decide. Right. If I report this to the leaders and deacons, they'll agree. We have to resolve problems quickly, don't we? We can't delay brothers and sisters' life entry. That's enough. The matter has been decided. Let's start. There you are. You're back. I didn't expect you. We'd like to chat. <sighs> Where did you go? My mother-in-law was hospitalized for a heart attack. I brought her food. Is it serious? She's better. She'll be out soon. Let's talk inside, sure. Okay. We want Sister Fang to water the newcomers. Mm -hmm. You know her fairly well. What do you think? Sister Fang has good humanity. She seeks the truth. She is responsible in her duties. Mm -hmm. I think she'll do well as a waterer. That's great to hear. By the way, you should ask Sister Liu if you have any business. She is the group leader now. I've been dismissed. How did that happen? Sister Li, dismissing a group leader is a big deal. How could you dismiss Sister Ye without first discussing it with us? What you did goes against principles. She is careless in her duty and misses gatherings. She's arrogant, seizing on others' faults. She has no self-awareness and lacks life entry. As group leader, she hinders others' life entry. I was being mindful of our brothers and sisters when I dismissed her. I think Sister Ye is very loving towards her group. She seeks the truth, reflects, and knows herself. And she is responsible in her duty. Yes. I don't notice any major problem with her. You don't understand her. Sister Ye behaves well in front of the leaders, but she's different when you're not looking. I fellowshiped with her, but she refuses to change. And recently, She's been coming late. The brothers and sisters don't want her to be group leader. Everyone demanded that I dismiss her. Li Lan, is what you're saying true? We've already investigated her dismissal. She was late because her mother-in-law was in the hospital. This is a special situation. No brothers or sisters asked for her dismissal. You did it arbitrarily. Your evaluation is not objective. Sister Ye pointed out your problem, but you didn't accept it, so you dismissed her. You were getting revenge, weren't you? You said the brothers and sisters asked you to dismiss her. This is a lie, isn't it? This matter shows us that you lack principle and are a liar. You don't have any fear of God. Behaving in this manner offends God's disposition. Right. right. I admit, I can be arrogant and bad-tempered. But I can't accept you saying I was arbitrary and vengeful. Dismissing Sister Ye was being responsible for the other's lives. How is that revenge? I'm being wrongly accused. 
Still, you're arguing and justifying yourself rather than accepting the truth. Why can't you pray to God and reflect on yourself? Yeah. Did you discuss her dismissal with everyone? Did a consensus decide? No. It was you alone. This goes against principles. Don't you admit this? You said that Sister Ye was late. Was that not a special case? Was she late on purpose? You are finding problems where there aren't any. You know very well what your intentions are when you're doing this. The church belongs to God and His chosen ones. It's not private property. How could you act willfully? Yeah. It's dangerous to act like this. This is the Antichrist's path. You should reflect on yourself. I've suffered greatly for my duty. Whatever I've done wrong, you can't say I'm on the Antichrist path. Is it fair to say it's such a big problem? Lilan, you say you've worked hard, but what practical work have you done? What problems have you solved for God's chosen? These things are not up to you to decide. Many people reported that you often scold them, and you show off and use your power for glory. You were no better than a CCP officer. The most serious thing is that when reprimanded, not only do you not reflect on yourself, you also harbor hatred and argue for yourself and unabashedly lie. I don't think you accept the truth at all. No wonder you haven't changed in all these years. Lilan, if you can't reflect on yourself and still can't accept the truth, then you are in danger. Fine. There's nothing to say. It's my problem. I don't accept the truth. So I better reflect. Coming. You're home. Brother Saul, come on in. Lilan, we've come to see you. Doing laundry? Oh, hi. Hi. Mom? Yes? We brought vegetables. <laughs> How have you been, huh? How do you think? I'm reflecting. Lilan, we had no malice in reprimanding you. Yeah. We want you to recognize your problems so you can seek the truth, act with principle, and do watering work well. Right. If we can truly come to know ourselves, realize our arrogance, and genuinely repent and change, isn't that a good thing? Yeah. Don't stand out here. Come inside. Okay. Lilan, let's read a passage of God's Word. Okay. When you suffer a little constraint or hardship, it is good for you. If you were given an easy time of it, you would be ruined, and then how could you be protected? Today, it's because you are chastised, judged, and cursed that you are given protection. You are protected because you've suffered much. If not, you'd have long since fallen into depravity. This isn't making things difficult intentionally. Man's nature is hard to change. It must be thus for their dispositions to be changed. Today, you do not even possess the conscience or sense that Paul possessed, nor do you even have his self-awareness. You always have to be pressured, and you always have to be chastised and judged in order to awaken your spirits. Chastisement and judgment are what is best for your life. When needed, the chastisement of facts must also come upon you. Only then will you fully submit. 
Without this timely chastisement and judgment, who knows how arrogant you'd grow or how depraved you'd become. This chastisement and judgment have brought you to today and they have preserved your existence. If you were still educated using the same methods of your father, who knows what realm you would enter into? You have absolutely no ability to control and reflect upon yourselves. For people like you, my aims will be achieved if you just follow and obey, without interference or disruptions. Shouldn't you do better in accepting the chastisement and judgment of today? What other choices do you have? Amen. Amen. It's true. Chastisement, judgment, and pruning are care and protection for us. Yes. They are the best way for God to save us. Well, hmm? there's something I wanted to report to you. What is it? Lately, Weilan has been hot-headed. In her fellowship at gatherings, she often scolds others. At the last gathering, Sister Zhang asked her how to resolve perfunctoriness, and she got very impatient and started scolding Sister Zhang. Why are you still so perfunctory in your duty? How many years have you believed? Why don't you practice the truth? Is your belief in God sincere? If you don't cherish your duty now, it'll be too late for regret when disaster strikes. Sister Lee doesn't fellowship on the truth to resolve problems, which hurts people. Is she a suitable watering deacon? Should her position be reevaluated? Mm -hmm. You know, I've often found Sister Lee showing off. Boasting of how much she forsakes and expends, belaboring her suffering, seeking admiration and worship. Isn't she walking the path of Paul? Yeah. Lilan's problem is very obvious. She brings people before herself and not before God. Lilan really isn't suitable for church work. She needs to be dismissed. Her desire for status is strong. If she is dismissed, will she let herself go? I want to protect the work of the church and act according to principles. Is everyone clear about Lilan's behavior? Yes. 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 As watering deacon for six months, she speaks of doctrine and belittles others, often scolds others, represses people, and can't fellowship on the truth. Yeah. If anyone points out her problems, she retaliates and dismisses people at will. When leaders and deacons deal with her, she makes excuses and doesn't admit her mistakes. It's been more than a month with no sign of repentance. If she continues as watering deacon, she'll hinder people's life entry. Right. Based on her behavior, she's unsuitable to be a deacon. I recommend dismissal. Mm -hmm. According to the principles of God's house, Leilan doesn't do practical work or accept the truth. She acts without principle, does her duty however she wants. Yeah. I think she's not suitable, 
to be a watering deacon. Let's vote by show of hands. I agree to the dismissal. I also, I also agree. agree. I also agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. The church can also vote at tomorrow's gathering about this matter. Okay. 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 Mom. How is Lilan? Lilan, how have you been? Experiencing failures and being revealed isn't a bad thing. Right. I was also dismissed two years ago. I was miserable and very embarrassed. But after I reflected, I saw that my nature was arrogant that I was willful in my duty, that I didn't seek the truth. I disrupted the work of the church. In essence, I was resisting God and offending God's disposition. Only then did I understand God's will. My dismissal was actually protection. It was God's salvation. Your brother is talking to you. Listen to him. God's words say, in the course of experiencing the work of God, no matter how many times you have failed or have been dealt with or exposed, these are not bad things. Being pruned, dealt with, or exposed is always a good thing. It's not condemnation, it's salvation, and the best opportunity for you to know yourself. It can change your life experience. Without it, you won't have the chance, context, or condition to understand the truth of your corruption. Amen. No matter whether we are revealed or dismissed, God's heart is always good. We have to thank Him and learn our lesson. Right. Don't be sad. We should obey, reflect, and correct our mistakes. It is a good thing. Yeah. During this time, you can preach the gospel. You need to quiet your heart and read more of God's words. According to election principles, the voting to elect the watering deacon has ended. These are the votes from each group. Let's start counting them. Okay. okay. Yeshin. Jungjie. Yeshin. Jung Chen. The ballots are counted. By the vote of brothers and sisters, Zhang Chen receives 10 votes, Zheng Jie 19 votes, and Ye Xin 23 votes. Sister Ye has been elected as the new watering deacon. Thank, Thank God. God. I don't understand. How is she better? Sister Ye is very loving and very responsible. She will make for a good watering deacon. How will she be good? Is she as loyal as me? Or forsaken expend more than me? As I see it, you desire status too much. You've been dismissed, so you should properly reflect and repent. Once you've changed, you'll get a chance. I'd like to see who can do the work of watering deacon better than me. How could you say such a thing? You're being arrogant. You seem well. You must have learned quite a few lessons. Yeah. <laughs> After I was dismissed, I reflected on myself. I have an arrogant disposition and I scold people which constrain my brothers and sisters. I owe much to my brothers and sisters. I wanted to repent, but the church leaders 
didn't give me a chance. They just dismissed me. Isn't this oppressing and punishing me? Who doesn't have some flaws? She wants to repent. She deserves a chance. Sister Lee, you say the leaders didn't give you a chance. But this isn't true. To tell the truth, in the past month, the leaders have fellowshiped with you many times. At least three or four times, you were given a chance. Pointing out your corruption is a way of helping you. It comes from a place of love, not trying to suppress you. Right. I've seen the church leaders talk to you several times. But you just argue and justify yourself. It's not a bad thing when we are dealt with, so how can you act like this? Yeah. What am I arguing and justifying? I've been suppressed, and I can't speak about it? Sister Lee, God's chosen people voted to dismiss you as the watering deacon. It wasn't just one person. You can't always complain against the leaders. Yeah. yeah. Your caliber is good. You're not a bad person. You should accept pruning and seek repentance. Yeah. yeah. We all genuinely hope you will repent. If you can truly change, every one of us will be happy for you. Yeah. And we will choose you as watering deacon again. Exactly. Right. Why do you keep asking me to know myself? Are there no problems with the church leaders? Why don't they reflect on themselves? I think they dislike me and are happy to dismiss me. Sister Lee, you always find problems with the leaders. But what does that have to do with you? Yeah. yeah. We believe in God for ourselves, not for others. Our being saved is what matters. Right. right. Does concern for others' problems mean you've repented and progressed? Their problems are theirs to solve. If you have love in your heart, you can help them. But right now, you need to reflect and resolve your own issues. Yeah. Exactly. When we are reprimanded and replaced in our duties, it is a good time to reflect on ourselves. Don't you think so? Yeah. Yeah. Let's read a passage of God's words. Okay. Okay. Page 1053. I'll read it. Sure. Man lives amid the flesh, which means he lives in a human hell. And without God's judgment and chastisement, man is as filthy as Satan. How could man be holy? Peter believed that chastisement and judgment by God were man's best protection and greatest grace. Only through chastisement and judgment by God could man awaken and hate the flesh, hate Satan. God's strict discipline frees man from the influence of Satan, frees him from his own world, and allows him to live in the light of God's presence. There is no better salvation than chastisement and judgment. In his life, if man wishes to be cleansed and change his disposition, if he wishes to live a meaningful life and do his duty as a creature, he must accept God's chastisement and judgment and accept God's discipline and smiting. So he may be freed from Satan's manipulation and influence and live in God's light. Know that God's chastisement and judgment is the light and the light of man's salvation, and that there is no better blessing, grace, or protection for man. Amen. God's judgment and chastisement helps us know ourselves and escape our corruption. Tell me, who doesn't reveal corruptions in duties? Why did they have to dismiss me? How can they call this love? Yeah. You've forsaken, expended, and suffered much. They shouldn't have dismissed you over a small issue. They should have lovingly helped you. Right. 
I suffered a lot and paid a high price. I put a lot of time in working tirelessly. I gave my watering work my all. I never missed a single day. Shouldn't I at least get some credit? Everyone is flawed. But when they heard I was arrogant and scolding people, they dismissed me. Is that fair? Isn't that suppression? Isn't that what false leaders do? Sister, let's start the meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Let me finish first. If we can't learn to discern things, our church will fall into darkness. We got the news that the Communist Party has issued orders again. Yes. They're increasing efforts to arrest believers. Now all the villages are registering believers. Mm -hmm. We have to be more careful when we meet. Right. We need more lookouts. Okay. Let's visit each group to plan things. Okay. okay. Do you have any questions? Mm, I don't have any. Uh, can we talk about Sister Lilan? Mm -hmm. She has been dismissed for over a month, yet still doesn't know herself. Lately at gatherings, she claims she is being suppressed and isn't given a chance. She continues to spread these lies, and she still hasn't reflected on herself. I have tried a fellowship with her, but she doesn't accept the truth. Can anything else be done to help her? Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. A few days ago, Sister Wong reported, Sister Lee says her dismissal was to punish her, and that it was unfair. It is understandable that she is feeling anguish, mm. but she shouldn't be saying untrue things like this. This is bad for church life. Lilan saying these things impacts others' gains from God's words. Yeah. Why don't we let her gather at home for now? Okay. okay. Let's end our meeting here. Okay. okay. Oh, uh, I sewed some book covers. Let me get them. Okay. okay. Here you go. Here. Thanks. Fine craftsmanship. I like the color. Yes, very well made. I didn't do my duty well and was dismissed. I owe so much to God and to all of you. Now that I can do something for everyone, I feel a little better. Mm. Don't be too hard on yourself. Mm. Pray to God more and seek the truth. Mm. Once you understand His will, you will overcome this. <laughs> yeah. Mom. Coming. Here, enjoy. Okay. You know, it was all because of a few people that reported me that they decided to dismiss me. Do you think the vote was fair? I can clearly see that these leaders are false. Sister Lee, we need to speak with the fear of God. We can't just judge people. Hmm. The church dismissed you, fairly. This was based on your consistent poor behavior, and the full church had voted. It wasn't decided by any one person. You should receive from God and reflect. The leaders are clearly suppressing me, and you won't let me tell the truth. And you insist I reflect. Aren't these just high-flown words? You're such a snob. All you do is protect and obey false leaders. I don't think you have any discernment at all. Lila, what are you saying? Why must you always condemn others? Can't you see you're disrupting the church? Brother Lee? Yes? We'll be on our way. Okay. Lilan, the brothers and sisters are helping you, but instead you judge them. Why are you so unreasonable? Who am I judging? Everything I said is true. Besides, I'm just arrogant, right? None of you gave me a chance. You just dismissed me. What you're doing is suppression. Who is suppressing you? I'm your brother. How could I suppress you? Did I talk so much because I wanted to dismiss you? 
I didn't want to. I wanted you to change. Can't you understand? We all fellowshiped with you, but you showed no remorse. If you had just realized and admitted to your mistake, then it wouldn't have gotten to this point. You couldn't tell good from bad. You can only blame yourself. Look at you. You are still defiant, and you are still judging others. You cannot keep acting like this. It is dangerous. Acting like what? You have crossed the line. Li Mingyi, I have suffered so much torment, but you don't speak up for me. You just follow those false leaders and condemn me. I think you're a false leader too. And you should reflect on yourself. How? How? How could you say that, huh? I'm your brother. I'd never hurt you. Why? Why don't you understand me? <laughs> right, I misunderstand you. Why are you so angry? What your brother says is for your own good. For my own good? He hates me. Oh, come on. You know that's not true. Mom, you saw all that. Look at Lilan. How am I supposed to help her? She's so angry with me. Ignore her. She's just ill-tempered. Have patience. There's nothing else to do. Those among brothers and sisters who are always giving vent to their negativity are lackeys of Satan, and they disturb the church. Such people must one day be expelled and eliminated. In their faith in God, if people do not have a heart that reveres and obeys Him, then not only will they be unable to do any work for him, but on the contrary, will become those who disturb his work and who defy him. Believing in God, but not obeying or revering him, and instead resisting him, is the greatest disgrace for a believer. If believers are just as casual and unrestrained in their speech and conduct as unbelievers are, then they are even more evil than unbelievers. They are archetypal demons. Those who give vent to their poisonous, malicious talk within the church, who spread rumors, foment disharmony, and form cliques among the brothers and sisters. They should have been expelled from the church. Yet because now is a different era of God's work, these people are restricted, for they face certain elimination. Lilan behaves like an evildoer. If she's an evildoer, she must be expelled from the church. Still thinking about Lilan? Mm-hmm. Lately, I've been fellowshipping with her, hoping she'd come around. But she refuses to listen. Nothing I say matters. Why can't she see we mean well? 
It's so frustrating. Her disposition is very stubborn. Just keep fellowshipping with her and guiding her. Maybe someday she'll figure it out. She won't listen to anything I say. I want Brother Song to fellowship with her again. That sounds good. I hope she comes to her senses. Sisterly, it's been two months since you were dismissed. Everyone has helped you many times, hoping you will repent and change. Mm. But you refuse to reflect, cause disturbances at gatherings, and spread judgments. These things offend God's disposition. Yeah. If you don't repent, you are likely to be cast out. Let's read a passage of God's word. Mm. I exhort you to get a better understanding of the content of the administrative decrees and to make an effort to know the disposition of God. If not, you will find it difficult to keep your lips sealed. Your tongues will wag too freely and you will offend the disposition of God and fall into the darkness, losing the Holy Spirit's presence and the light. Because you are unprincipled in your actions, because you do what you shouldn't do and say what you shouldn't say, you shall receive a fitting retribution. You should know that you're unprincipled in word and deed, but God is highly principled. You receive retribution because you have offended God, not a person. If you commit many offenses against the disposition of God, then you are bound to become a child of hell. To man, it may seem you've done just some things against the truth, no more. Are you aware, however, that in the eyes of God, you are already someone for whom there is no more sin offering. Since you violated God's decrees more than once and have shown no sign of repentance, you can only plunge into hell where God punishes man. Some people, while following God, committed deeds that violated principles, but after being dealt with and given guidance, they gradually discovered their own corruption, thereafter being on the right track. And they remain well grounded today. Such people are those who shall remain in the end. Amen. God's disposition is merciful and righteous. For those who accept being judged and dealt with by God, God does his best to save them. Mm. Those who don't accept the truth and rebel against God are cast out by God. As believers, we need to have God-fearing hearts. We can't rely on our- Enough. Don't preach these doctrines to me. God observes everything I do. In my years of belief, I have expended and suffered so much. My brothers and sisters saw it all. You simply don't like me. So you dismissed me. <laughs> I think all of you are false leaders and workers. Sister Lee, truth and righteousness rule in God's house. Mm -hmm. If you could solve the practical problems of God's chosen people, would they have voted to dismiss you? <sighs> think about it. Didn't God permit your dismissal? Don't you believe that God is righteous? I believe God is. But I don't think people are. Stop being stubborn. Yeah. If you continue misbehaving, the church will handle you by principles. Mm. Do what you want. God observes my heart. 
and God will reveal everything. What's this? Many people are reporting that Li Lan spreads negativity, condemns the leaders and deacons, and disturbs others' fellowship on God's word in church life. Some have reported her as an evildoer to be expelled. Will she be expelled? I can't believe she let it get this bad. Isn't there any leeway to save things? Tired? No. That was nothing. <laughs> Today, those believers finally received God's new work. Huh. Tomorrow I'll bring them the books. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. If Li Lan is expelled, what will happen to her? Lots of people today. Be careful. Mm, I will. People have written letters to report Li Lan's evil behavior. After investigating, we've learned that she's been defiant about her dismissal for over three months. Li Lan has been spreading negativity and judgment, fooling people and drawing them to her side, disrupting church life to the point people can't focus on God's words. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Brothers and sisters have fellowship with her many times, but she refuses to accept the truth and has shown no sign of repentance. Right. You all know Li Lan well. So we need to decide based on her behavior if she is an evildoer according to principle. If we determine that she is an evildoer, the church will have to expel her. Expel her? Is it that serious? It's a fact that Sister Lee doesn't accept the truth. But I wouldn't call her an evildoer. Her disposition is arrogant, but she sincerely believes in God. For years, she has expended and even forsook her marriage. She's not as bad as an evildoer. We can't just look at people's hard work, enthusiasm, and behavior. What matters most is their attitude towards the truth and towards God. Yeah. We can only view people accurately based on God's word. The Pharisees were outwardly devout, but in their hearts they hated the truth, which is the greatest evil. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 God says, humans judge other humans by their behavior. Those with good conduct are righteous, while those with vile conduct are wicked. Mm -hmm. Yes. God's standard for judging humans is whether their essence submits to him. One who submits is righteous, while one who does not is an enemy and a wicked person. Yes. Whether their behavior is good or bad, and whether their speech is correct or not. Amen. Amen. God judges whether a person is good or evil, not based on how much they forsake or suffer, but on their attitude towards the truth, and whether they are obedient to Him. What matters most is accepting and obeying the truth. Right. If a person hates the truth, 
then their essence and nature are evil. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's read a passage. Great. Right. Right. Page 774. May I read it? Mm hmm All who have been corrupted by Satan have corrupt dispositions. Some have nothing more than corrupt dispositions, while others are different. Not only do they have corrupt satanic dispositions, but their nature is also extremely malicious. Not only do their words and actions reveal their corrupt satanic dispositions, these people are, moreover, the genuine devil Satan. Their behavior interrupts and disturbs God's work. It impairs the brothers and sisters' entry into life, and it damages the normal life of the church. Sooner or later, these wolves in sheep's clothing must be cleared out. An unsparing attitude, an attitude of rejection, should be adopted toward these lackeys of Satan. Only this is standing on the side of God, and those who fail to do so are wallowing in the mire with Satan. Amen. 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 Based on the principles of expulsion, those who are evildoers and non-believers who do not accept the truth must be expelled from the church. Mm -hmm. Looking at Lilan's behavior during her time as watering deacon, she often scolded others, couldn't resolve problems, didn't act according to principles, attacked others, and when dealt with, she didn't accept the truth and tried to justify herself. She has always spread negativity after her dismissal, and she has refused to change her ways. This is an evil disposition, the essence of an evildoer. How do the rest of you view Lilan's behavior? Evaluate her according to principles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Since she was dismissed, she has been defiant. Despite support and fellowship, she has not repented and continues to be disruptive. In my opinion, Li Lan hates the truth and is an evildoer. I agree to her expulsion. I also agree. I also agree. I agree. Lately, she has been disruptive and has behaved poorly. However, she's done her duty for years. She can sacrifice. She persists in adversity and has suffered a lot. She also sincerely believes in God. Can we give her another chance to repent? Yeah. Aside from arrogance, spouting doctrine and scolding others, and rejecting criticism, she hasn't done any obvious evil. She just shows some corruption and complains. That's normal, isn't it? If we give her some more time, she might be able to turn things around. It's just a matter of time. Yeah, that makes sense. She will understand in time. Let's give her another chance. Yeah. Given her conduct, I don't oppose defining her as an evildoer but she genuinely believes in God, and she expends herself for God. It's only that she is too arrogant, too stubborn, and too slow to change. If we give her some more time, she might see her mistakes and repent. God saves people whenever possible, so why not give just one more chance? Hmm. That sounds appropriate. It's a good way to handle it. God would never falsely accuse a good person. How about that? Some said I was an evildoer, but they were wrong, right? If I were an evildoer, would I be able to suffer so much for God? All I did was expose some corruption. I didn't steal offerings or commit adultery. I'm not a Judas who betrays God. The leader said I was an evildoer and wanted to expel me. But they were just trying to punish me. 
These false leaders are so vicious. Lilan, the church gave you a chance to repent, so why don't you self-reflect? You're just lashing out. Yeah. Why should I reflect? I was falsely accused. I spoke from my heart. And they used that to condemn me and expel me. They should reflect. It's all clear to me now. If we don't just keep everything to ourselves, it'll be seized on and you'll be reported and expelled. It's terrible. Sister Lee, you're spreading fallacies. You're being so unreasonable. Am I being unreasonable? What I'm saying isn't true? Lilan, you're misrepresenting the facts. Saying things like this is disruptive to church life. It is. Disrupt church life? Huh? I'm the problem? You... So you're accusing me too? Church life is liberated and free. What gives you the right to judge me? Me? I'm the problem? What is it? Nothing. Mingyi? Sisters Wu and Zhang are here. Oh. You go ahead and talk. Hmm. Here, have some water. I'm off. Okay. Something wrong? Yes. Li Lan has continued to cause disturbances. Hmm. Sister Zhang has tried to talk to her, but she got very angry. Sister Hu hasn't believed for long, and she is so disturbed she doesn't want to attend gatherings. Li Lan doesn't know herself at all. We gave her a chance, but it's only gotten worse. She attacks everyone who talks with her. She doesn't accept the truth. It's become clear that she is an evildoer. Yeah. Brother Lee, I want to give you some advice. Mm -hmm. You know Lilan is an evildoer, and yet you let her stay in the church and harm others. You are protecting her. You're going against the principles and letting your emotions get the best of you. This will harm everyone. Yes. You and Brother Song need to resolve this as soon as possible. Li Lan cannot continue to do evil. Right. Mm-hmm. Satan, who are demons, and who are God's enemies, if not resistors who do not believe in God? Are they not those people who are disobedient to God? Are they not those who claim to have faith, yet who lack truth? Are they not those who merely seek blessings while unable to bear witness for God? You still mingle with those demons today and bear conscience and love toward them. But is this not extending goodwill towards Satan? 
Are you not in league with demons? If people now still cannot distinguish between good and evil, and continue to blindly show love and mercy, without even the slightest desire to seek for God's will or taking His heart as their own, then their endings will be all the more wretched. Anyone who does not believe in the God in the flesh is an enemy of God. If you bear conscience and love toward enemies, do you not lack righteousness? If you are compatible with those I detest and oppose, and still bear love or personal feelings toward them, then are you not disobedient? Are you not intentionally resisting God? Does such a person possess truth? If people bear conscience toward enemies, love for demons, and mercy for Satan, then are they not intentionally disrupting God's work? All mankind lives in emotion, and so God does not avoid a single one of them, and exposes the secrets hidden in the hearts of all mankind. Why is it so hard for people to separate themselves from emotion? Does doing so surpass the standards of conscience? Can conscience accomplish God's will? Can emotion help people through adversity? In God's eyes, emotion is his enemy. Has this not been clearly stated in God's words? I now see clearly. Although Li Lan can sacrifice, she does not accept the truth or repent. She is an evildoer. Right. It's obvious. We shouldn't have given her another chance. I spoke out of emotion when I suggested another chance. Afterwards, I felt uneasy. Lately, I've had a sore on my mouth, and I can't eat or sleep. This is God's discipline. God's warning to me. Right. God says, emotion is his enemy. Only now do I understand its meaning. Yeah. God's disposition cannot be offended. God hates evildoers. We can't tolerate their presence. Right. I knew that Li Lan should be expelled. But as her brother, I protected her. <sighs> Ignored my conscience, betrayed the truth. I allowed her in the church. <sighs> I was Satan's minion. I resisted God and harmed others. Yeah. Recently, I've been reading God's Word, and it's enlightened me. Let's read it. All right. All right. Page 1164. How can there be goodness in those who don't love truth, or righteousness in those who only love the flesh? Aren't these things only spoken of in reference to the truth? Are they not reserved for those who wholeheartedly love God? Don't all who don't love truth and are putrid corpses harbor evil? Those unable to live out the truth, are they not all enemies of the truth? Another passage, page 1284. May I read it? Sure. 
No matter how they are tried, the allegiance of those who have God in their heart remains unchanged. For those without God in their heart, once God's work does not benefit their flesh, they change their view of God, and even depart from God. Such are those who will not stand fast in the end, who only seek God's blessings and have no desire to expend themselves for God and dedicate themselves to Him. Such base people will all be expelled when God's work comes to an end, and they are unworthy of any sympathy. Those without humanity are incapable of truly loving God. With a safe and secure environment, or with gains to pursue, they fully submit to God. But once that which they desire is compromised or refuted, they immediately revolt. Even in the space of just one night, they may go from a smiling, kind-hearted person to an ugly-looking and ferocious killer, suddenly treating their benefactor of yesterday as their mortal enemy without rhyme or reason. If not cast out, these demons that would kill without batting an eye, will they not become a hidden danger? The work of saving man is not achieved following the completion of the work of conquest. Although the work of conquest has come to an end, the work of purifying man has not. It will only be finished once man has been wholly purified, once those who submit to God have been made complete, and once those who are without God in their heart have been purged. Amen. 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 Thank God. Thank God. The matter of Leilan has shown me that if we believe in God but don't pursue the truth, we will have trouble. Right. Yeah. In the past, I saw that Leilan forsook everything, and she really worked hard, and I was envious. Yeah. I was very surprised when she wasn't accepting the truth and wondered why she practiced her faith so zealously. God's word shows that such people are driven by desire for blessings. If God then denies them their blessings, they become furious. Yeah, right. right. That really is true. Yeah. During this time, I've read some of God's words, and I see that I'm the same as Lilan. My faith is tainted, and I also look to gain blessings. I'm quite arrogant, and I always feel I possess the truth. If a great trial came upon me, whether I would bitterly complain and resist God, it's hard to say. Hmm, right. Lilan's failure holds a mirror up to me, so I also have to reflect. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We almost reflect on ourselves. Exactly. I've been worrying a lot about the issue of Lilan. She used to pursue so eagerly. How did she get to this point? Why can't she accept the truth when she is dealt with? Why can't she reflect and know herself? I never imagined this happening. Yeah. If she could end up like this, could I have this disposition too? If I were exposed by God's chosen people, would I act any better? I might not complain publicly, but there be grievances in my heart. I have to reflect on this. Yes. yes. I couldn't see the problem clearly at first. I only saw that Lilan was a little arrogant, but I didn't see how she was doing evil. Through God's words, I understood the evildoer's essence. If one won't accept fellowship on the truth and stubbornly blames God, their disposition is evil. Right. Right. Think about the Pharisees in the Bible. They understood the scripture and were devout. So why did they condemn the Lord Jesus? Why did they have the Lord Jesus crucified? Such people are nothing but outright evildoers. Exactly. Those who deny the truth and resist God are the most wicked of all. Yes. yes. Looking at Lilan's acts, it's clear that she has the essence of an evildoer. In accordance with God's word and the principles of truth, I agree to Lilan's expulsion. Thank, Thank God. God. Thank God. It's true. Lilan rejects the truth no matter how much time given. She will never understand herself. Right. That's right. I can't discern based on essence, so I relied on emotion to treat her. I was so ignorant. I agree to expel her too. Thank God. Thank Thanks God. Thanks be to God. I mustn't be so blind next time. 
I agree to expulsion. I agree. Thank God. Thank, Thank God. God. Thank God. God. The best. I think it's the right decision. Mom. Ming Yi. Yes. The church is expelling Lin Lan for being an evildoer? Mm-hmm. Mom. Lin Lan's disposition is arrogant and competitive, but she genuinely believes in God. Mom, sit down. Over the years, she has suffered a lot in her duty. Even though she likes to scold people, you don't have to expel her for that, do you? I watched Lin Lan grow up. She's arrogant. Yes, I admit that. But how can you say she's an evildoer? Why can't I see it? How can she be an evildoer? I'm sure she can repent if you give her one more chance. Ming Yi, can't you talk with the church? Mom, the church has principles to expel people. The decision was made according to God's word. It isn't just based on my opinion. I gave Lilan a chance, and she didn't repent. As her brother, I've done all I can. You've seen it yourself. What else can I do? Is Lilan an evildoer? She's just ill-tempered. She didn't do anything bad. Mom, we identify evildoers based upon the word of God, not whether they commit crimes and break laws like unbelievers. Lilan doesn't accept the truth. She doesn't repent despite being repeatedly dealt with. She complains all the time. This disposition is evil. <sighs> she was arbitrary in her duty. She scolded and suppressed people. She was defined when dismissed and got people to fight for her disrupting church and affecting brothers and sisters life entry. She is doing evil and resisting God. How can the church not expel her? Your sister, Lila, has made many mistakes and done many bad things. Why doesn't she know to repent? Ming Yi, if Lila is expelled, what will happen to her in the future? I'm begging you, don't expel her. <laughs> Ming Yi. Mom, if we don't expel her and let her keep disrupting the church, it will harm our brothers and sisters. God's disposition is unoffendable. The church dismissed her on principle, according to God's will. Showing favoritism is resisting God. Li Mingyi, why are you expelling me? I don't care if they condemn me, but you won't say anything for me and insist on it too. Stop it right now. How could you be so vicious? You call yourself my brother? Didn't you get many chances? It's been over four months since you were dismissed. Have you reflected on yourself? So many people have tried to guide you, but did you accept even a little truth? You've shown no repentance at all. You consistently refuse to change. You should be expelled. If you want to truly repent, reflect on yourself after being expelled. Spread the gospel, do good deeds, do no more evil. Then there may be a bit of hope that God might forgive you. Yes. If you won't listen to me now, then there is no hope for you. I believe in God. Not any person. Your expulsion means nothing, because God hasn't expelled me. God is righteous, and God observes my heart. One day, God will reveal everything. 
I can't believe you. You are so stubborn. You deserve to be expelled. Does anyone have anything to add to Li Lan's expulsion materials? No. no. None. According to the principles of expulsion, it must be wholly approved by church leaders and deacons, and approved by more than 80% of the members to expel someone. Yes. 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 Then, the brothers and sisters can vote. Next, I will read Li Lan's expulsion materials. Okay. okay. During Li Lan's tenure as watering deacon, she frequently showed off, often scolded and suppressed others. Despite being dealt with many times, she refused to change. She attacked and sought revenge in order to maintain status. Lilan was defiant after being dismissed and spread negativity and deceptive judgments, which disrupted church life, and she didn't accept the truth. After repeated warnings, she refused to repent and was found to be an evildoer the expulsion report on Li Lan is finished. Based on the church's principles, let's vote by a show of hands. I agree. Agreed. agreed. I agree. I also agreed. agree. Agreed. I agree. I also agree. Agreed. 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 I agree. Agreed. 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 After several days of voting, over 95% of the church members have agreed to expel Li Lan. Mm -hmm. Evil doer Li Lan will be expelled from the church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank God. 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 The truth well, reigns in God's house. Yes, yes. Her expulsion was in line with principles. Life. been crying for days and won't eat. What should we do? I don't know, Mom. We gave her chances to repent, but she didn't. And she still hates me. It's her own fault for not trying. Who can she blame now? Many things happened in the process of Li Lan's expulsion. Mm -hmm. I learned many lessons. Thank Thanks God. Thanks God. In the past, I dealt with evildoers and antichrists in the church. I felt I could adhere to principles without emotion. To my surprise, my emotions were revealed in the matter of Li Lan. Mm. My emotions were strong. I protected Li Lan, allowing her to disturb church life and harm others' life entry. I am indebted to them. I... I apologize to the brothers and sisters. I wounded God's heart by protecting this evildoer. I offended God's disposition and suffered God's discipline. I am grateful to God for using this matter to save me and let me cast off my corrupt disposition. Thank God for his salvation. Thank God. Thanks, Thanks be God. to God. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Thank God. Shall we read some of God's words? Great. 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 Page 788. Born into such a filthy land, man has been severely blighted by society, influenced by feudal ethics, and taught higher education. The backward thinking, corrupt morality, mean view on life, despicable philosophy for living, utterly worthless existence, and depraved lifestyle and customs. All of these things have severely intruded upon man's heart and severely undermined 
and attacked his conscience. As a result, man is ever more distant from God and ever more opposed to him. Man's disposition becomes more vicious by the day, and there is not a single person who will willingly give up anything for God. Not a single person who will willingly obey God. Nor, moreover, a single person who will willingly seek the appearance of God. Instead, man merely pursues pleasure under Satan's domain, giving himself over to the corruption of the flesh in the land of mud. Amen. Amen. God really observes our hearts and reveals the root of my resistance to him. Yeah. Satan's philosophies are deeply rooted in my heart, such as every man for himself, and blood is thicker than water, and humans are emotional creatures, and so on. These toxic ideas are ingrained in me. I place a lot of importance on emotion, valuing affection and loyalty too highly. In dealing with Lilan, I couldn't distinguish between good and evil. I only focused on emotions and didn't practice truth. I acted selfishly. I had no consideration for God's will. My corruption had not been cleansed to escape Satan's influence. I truly needed God's judgment and chastisement. Amen. Amen. God's acts are all wonderful. Thank God. God's love is so practical. Amen. Amen. Thanks be to God. His experience is fantastic. Exactly. Thank God. By accepting Almighty God's judgment, we can eventually live out a human likeness and obey God. Yes. This is God's love and salvation. Amen. Amen. All of the truth expressed by God reveals all. Hmm. So many false leaders, workers, and those who don't accept the truth have been shown and cast out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> those who think they love God but do not accept the truth are all hypocrites. Right. God detests them, and they will be punished. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. God's work in the last days separates the good servants from the evil ones and the goats from the sheep, which shows God's righteous disposition. Amen. Amen. Now, the disasters are growing. Only those who accept and obey God's work can be protected and blessed in the disaster. Mm. And anyone who resists God will be punished in the disaster. Very Amen. true. Now, we read God's words every day and our life progresses. This is truly a blessing. Yes. yes. Amen. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Without evildoers, disruptions, gathering and fellowshipping is a joy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Our hearts feel free. Yeah. yeah. Church life like this is wonderful. Amen. Thank, Thank God. God. Thank God. Let's sing a hymn together. Great. 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 God shall judge and purify all who come before his throne. Amen. 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 Thank God. 我是神今天的话结束的工作也就是对他忠心
是要做的工作，不是视察人的行为，不是打听人的生活，而是审判人的背影。审判人的背影，因为神要洁净所有来到他宝座前的人。凡是跟随神的脚走，走到今天的人，则都是来到神宝座前，来到神宝座前的人。既是这样，那每一个接受神最后做工的人。是神洁净的对象，也就是说，每一个接受神最后做工的人，都是神审判的对象。